Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be briefly showing all of you how you can save your video to a file, or another way of calling it is to render your video to a file inside of DaVinci Resolve 17. So this would assume that you've already done some edits inside of the video timeline. So if you have at least one video or audio clip on the timeline, you should be able to save it to a file. So once you've gone ahead and made all of your cuts as necessary, go over to the deliver tab. That's the one in the bottom right hand corner with the little rocket picture down here. And from here, you're going to see render settings in the top left. So this is where you can define how the output file should look like in terms of the format, the resolution, frame rate, audio bit rate, stuff like that, most of which you probably don't need to worry too much about, honestly, unless you have very specific needs. The easiest way to go ahead and save your video to file is probably going to be to use the YouTube presets. So you can click on YouTube over here under render settings. If you need it to go to a different resolution than 1080p, just click on the drop down and you can select 720p or 2160p for very high resolution video files. And from here, you'll be given a simplified list of settings for exporting your video. So the presets we have down here are generally going to work on most of the places you would put your video files on format down here, QuickTime as a dot move and MP4 as your standard YouTube options, very compatible formats in terms of video playback. So you can choose some of these settings if you need to. Maybe you need to customize the resolution, though we kind of chose that up there, or you can pick a different frame rate if it's not already locked into a single choice. So here we got 30 frames per second because that's what I edited the video timeline in. And that would be a setting that you would choose before you even start editing your project. So in case you're wondering how to do that before you add a video onto the timeline, you can go to File, Project Settings, and you can see the timeline frame rate down here and timeline resolution, kind of setting yourself up in advance for this exporting part. Now, before we go ahead and render to a file, it may be the case that you want to export only part of your timeline and not the entire timeline. So down here in this middle bottom section, you'll see another timeline. So it'll say render entire timeline by default, which means everything you've been editing in your timeline is going to go out to one video and it'll go from start to end. But if you want to define only one part of that timeline that you want to export to the video file, you can select it down here and go to in out range. And from there, you need to select a endpoint and hit I to define it. Notice that everything before that endpoint is grayed out, so it's not going to be exported. Go to uh, out point by left clicking on this timeline and just moving the cursor and then hit O to define your out point. And now if you export this, it's only going to be exporting the times between the endpoint we just set and the out point we just set. So we can get rid of those by hitting Alt X, which is just going to bring us back to entire timeline. Nine out of 10 times, you're probably just going to export the entire timeline. So if we're okay with all these settings, then all we need to do now is give it a file name and a location. That's back up here in render settings in the top left. So I'm just going to call it test export one. And in location, I'm going to browse on the computer, find a good spot for it. So in this case, we'll just use the desktop. We don't have to define anything else here because the format is going to take care of that. So this will end up being test export one. QuickTime is a .move file and MP4 would be .mp4. So let's add it to the render queue. And now we can select one or more jobs from the render queue to actually start the exporting process. So if you have more, you can select them all and you can export multiple video files at once. But generally just one job is going to be fine. So we're exporting one video file here. I hit render all and now we just wait for it to finish. OK, so now once this render jobs has completed in some amount of time, we should be able to find that file on the computer exactly where we saved it to. If you need to know the location, just see here and that should be the export location and file name. So here on the desktop, we can see this test export one file. I can double click it to open it up in the default video uh, player and just kind of watch it back. So if I go over here and left click, we can see that this video file is actually composed of two clips. So, you know, it's not just the original clip, but rather a composition. So that's basically it for exporting our video. And now anytime we need to use this video file, such as uploading to the internet, we would just navigate to this file, select it, and then click upload on sites like YouTube. So that's pretty much going to be it for the basics of how you save a video file inside of DaVinci Resolve 17, aka rendering to a file. So I've been Chris. I hope this video was helpful for all of you getting started with saving your video files. Thanks for watching, and I'll see all of you in my future video content.